The question I get asked the most is, are green jobs real, where are they? And the story of Senate Bill 5649 is the answer. That's the legislation that shows what green jobs are. And more importantly, not just green jobs, but green collar jobs. Because what we at Green For All believe in is that people should be able to work, but in a way that provides them with dignity and allows them to support their family in an environmentally sustainable way. People are concerned about uh, getting education for their children. Uh, they're concerned about having jobs that are living wage jobs. They're concerned about health care. Um, they're concerned about having uh, about civil rights and immigration. And they're concerned about housing. Green Jobs integrates all those. The spark of the idea, I think, came from the community, from, from Sound Alliance and the, and the Spokane Alliance. And these community groups uh, had, had this vision of doing something that would be useful in the environment, helpful to the economy, and helpful to the community. We used it as a model to demonstrate the organizing power and the ability to make significant change on big issues. And when, when we started writing this legislation, we had no idea how we were going to finance it. We just knew this was a good idea, it's something that we have to figure out. And what happened that rescued us in the situation was the Investment and Recovery Act because it provided some flexible federal funding, the state energy program dollars that we have received were perfect for this. It was exactly what you might say President Obama and his advisors want to see us do. The first version of this great energy efficiency worker training bill, 5649, that was introduced into the legislature did include this one provision that would have weakened the voter approved clean energy initiative. Everyone at Green for All was just great and so helpful in coming up and very effectively communicating to our legislators. What this bill does is it weatherizes 100,000 homes over five years. The part of the bill that's most important to the community that I represent is the part that provides jobs and good jobs, uh, prevailing wage or living wage jobs that provide a better quality of life for their families. You know, going green is what everybody should do. As long as everything goes right, then you know, you get, a, you get a pension, you get your benefits, you get put in a union, that's the most important thing. It includes uh, prevailed rate standards and apprenticeship utilization standards, which means that as we convert our economy to this green, sustainable energy economy, what we also need to do is make sure that our people, our community, members of our community are getting those jobs and taking advantage of the opportunities. The, the jobs we're hoping to create with weatherization through the laborers training program uh, and the quality training they provide are going to be uh, career jobs with a, with a construction career ladder. We have a, a world-class training program. Uh, we're training uh, people into new career opportunities, good-paying jobs with uh, benefits, health care, pensions, retirement, and uh, they are going to be learning new careers and have opportunities for years to come to work in this new industry in, in Washington. And if, there, if there's not a place like ours for people to go, which there are virtually none, you know, 75% cycle right back into the system when they're released. If they get into a construction trade apprenticeship, they become, instead of tax dependents, they become taxpayers to the tune of about 20000 a year. And it's those kinds of programs that we're going to be pulling people from to go into the work that will be created by Sustainable Works. So not only will it make the environment better, not only will it provide opportunity, but it will show people that green jobs are real, that they're here to stay, and that no longer do you have to make a choice between paying your utility bill or being right with the environment. That this is what the future holds. And they helped me more than I actually could help myself. Uh, they showed me how to become a man, how to be responsible, how to uh, stand up on my own two feet and do the things the right way rather than the wrong way.